This week, an unexpected recipe because I'm lucky enough to know one of the local fishermen here where we live and he always told me that if I like fish, whatever you go fishing, it will bring me some. And yesterday, guess what? Rings my doorbell and these lovelies came in. Black brims and snapper fresh off the boat caught yesterday and trust me, nothing beats that kind of freshness. So I'm gonna show you in this episode how to prepare a whole fish Super simple way the way it's done in the south of France. If you're a fish lover, this is for you. This is a black bream or a bream. It is a fish that uh, lives in the estuary, which is just at the frontier of the sea and the sweet water. It's very similar to the snapper. It's got a fresh and delicate flavor. Now one of the criteria of a fresh fish, of a really fresh fish, is that it does not smell fishy at all. And a lot of people don't like fish because guess what? They think fish has got this fishy smell. If your fish smells, even for the slightest, it is just not fresh. A really, really fresh fish, if you can smell it, all it smells like is the sea, you know? And this is the kind of freshness we want to have. Now, preparing a whole fish is very easy. In France, we don't go always like filleting and all that, all that jazz. We take a snapper, we take this kind of fish, 800 grams to a kilo is the right size. All what you need here is a pair of these scissors. These are not the best, actually, they're falling apart a little bit. And all what you need to do, of course, is to remove the scales, it's been done already. Get the fish, it's nice and empty. You can check to make sure the gills has been removed. They can give a bitter taste in your preparation, you don't want that. And for the rest, you just have to be careful of cutting off all of these little, uh, little fins. So you go all around the fish, it's a bit tough. And the most important, sometimes the one that's a bit dangerous is these ones. This is a defense mechanism from the fish. If they are attacked, try to be bite on. This is super sharp, like needles. So you need to try to do your best to go there and very carefully kind of, you know, bit by bit, cut through the whole thing. And trust me, it's difficult. These are like bones. So you have to be very, very careful. So you go around the fish and you're gonna cut everything. Now, if you want, you can also cut the tail. I kind of leave the tail in the dish it doesn't bother me. Some people like to cut it if your dish is too small. And we are keeping the head. But that's about it. What you do, you go around, cut all of these things, and that's it. So now that we have the fresh fish, it is time also to get some other fresh ingredients that we're going to be using for our garnish. So let me go to the garden. Now that we have these beautiful ingredients from the garden, let's look at the mise en place. So the fish is thick, it's done. Next, potatoes, very fresh, cut into small quarters. Onion, thinly sliced. Tomatoes from the garden, cubed. One fennel bulb. I'm gonna show you exactly how to work it. Bay leaf, parsley, just the stalk, and some dry herbs. Salt and pepper. Optionally, if you want, you can use some red wine. But now, let me show you how we cut this. And now, for the fennel workshop. Now, fennel is a bit of a strange beast. And look at this thing. It's, it's, it looks a, bit, <laughs> looks a bit odd and funny. And first thing you have is this. It's just some of the long stems. They've been trimmed and they get dry. So the first thing you're going to do here, what I like to do is to remove all these kind of dry bits that are at the top, just to tidy things up. Once you've done this, this is the base here. This is a big problem. You see how it is? It's very dry and untidy, and that holds all the leaves in there. So what you usually do, you cut a good bit of it, like that. Okay, discard it, and then look up, you see? All these outer leaves, usually the bad ones, detaches, you can keep it for a stock or for a soup or something like this. And we're just gonna keep the relatively good piece of fennel. So what you're gonna do here, you're gonna cut in half, we're going to keep these, this part here, for the fish. So I'm going to keep this on the side. And for the rest, it's up to you. I mean, you can cut it like this 
and then cut it again. Now, if, like me, you got a little bit of dirt that happened here, throw it on the sink there and then we rinse. And we're back, nice and clean. So like I said, you got your funnel. All what we're doing here is this classic thinly slice of fennel because we're gonna cook and bake everything in the oven. So how exactly are we gonna cook that dish? We're gonna cook everything using just the one baking dish. The first thing we're gonna do is mingle all of the garnish together and pre-cook it in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes. And when that's done, we're gonna place the fish on top and continue to cook. And it's uber simple. You take all your potatoes, all of your fennel in here, all of the onions, all of the tomatoes, the herbs, and you can add a bay leaf and some salt and pepper. Once you've done all that, you're gonna finish with a good three or four tablespoons of olive oil. You're gonna wash your hands, okay, very important. And then, <laughs> Once we're done, we take a large baking dish. This is the one that the fish was in, of course. I've cleaned it and dried it. We're gonna put everything inside. Look at these colors. I can smell the fennel and the olive oil typical from the Provence and the south of France, but don't you think there's something missing in here? Yes. This, garlic. You cannot have something from the <laughs> for the Provence without garlic. You can cut it like you want, small chunks, press it. You can, uh, you know, bash it, browse it, uh, bruise it, I think it's called in English. Uh, but that's about it. And you mix everything together. Okay, and then we're gonna add a bit of water. So you see how simple is that? I'm getting here about a small glass of water, maybe 100, 150 ml maximum. And that's it. I'm gonna put this in the oven at 180 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes, just to start cooking all of this lovely garnish. And now that the garnish is in the oven, let's take care of the fish because it is not done. The first thing you're gonna do, of course, is to score the fish. So you see there's this your incision with a knife, it's gonna help for the cooking. Okay, and then we're gonna season the inside of the fish. So I've got a mix of salt and peppercorns. So I like to put a good amount in there, so it's gonna diffuse. I've still a little bit of that garnish from uh, the onion and fennel that we had. I'm gonna put it in there. And also, the fennel, see these little bits that we have? Very flavorsome, these. So you can put some in here. You can put some of the parsley, one or two bay leaves, and to finish, a bit of lemon or lime, up to you. Uh, so you have that mixture of a bit of everything in there. Well, two is maybe enough. And that's how it looks inside. I don't know if you can see. So it's all filled in. And we're gonna leave these two infuse while the garnish is cooking. So I'm putting this covered back in the fridge and we just wait for the rest to be cooked. And here we are, so look at this. After 40, 45 minutes, all the water is gone and you've got your garnish in here. And mix it a little bit in there. And all what's left to do is to take the fish that we've carefully prepared before, put it on there. And then I'm gonna add a bit of olive oil. Okay, so same thing here. A little drizzle. And if you want from here, you can add in the dish some wine, about 100, maybe even 150 ml, but here I'm just, just gonna use water, okay? But that's a choice, wine or water. Okay, so a little bit on there. And that's it, that goes back in the oven and now the cooking time for the fish is just 30 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. And here we are, it's done. This is how it looks like just out of the oven. You can see the liquid on here has totally reduced. Let's have a closer look to see how the fish is cooked. Now, when you have a fish and you cook it and you want to check for the cooking, this part right here, you see, if the flesh detach on its own like this, it's perfectly cooked. And the same goes for the top fins like this. You know, if they can be pulled apart very, very easily, then it's ready. But don't start doing this actually in your dish. It is very important to scoop off the fish of the garnish and break it apart on the side. Otherwise you're gonna have bones going everywhere and you really don't want that. So as I said, the first thing you need to do is scoop your fish off and put it somewhere else in a plate, in a platter, or whatever. And then the big question is, how do you deal with these kinds of fish, okay? 
And there's two sides to it. What you can do is use one of those first off. This is like this fish knife. This is what you get in the restaurants. You see, and they are very handy because they got that pointy bit here. And you can use it to really pull the skin apart and expose the flesh. So that's the, if you have this in your plate, that's the first thing you're gonna want to have to, you know, you're gonna want to do. So you taking all these bits, you discard. You've got here, of course, all these uh, spinal, I don't know how you call them, like the, <laughs> the very, the fish bones. So same thing, a little bit of flesh there, we're gonna keep this here. And you're gonna make sure to get rid of this first, okay? It's good to know how to deal with fish. And I've lived in, <laughs> in a French Riviera for some time and I had many, many fish, so I got <laughs> used to doing this. So once you got this, this is a nice, the nice part to it, where usually what you do, this is what they do in the restaurant as well, slice in the middle like this, and then delicately you can scoop off the flesh and you reserve it. And you do the same here. And this is where there's plenty of bones, so you have to be very careful not to take the bones with you. And you scoop off all of the meat. And you can go all the way to the tail. Okay. You go a bit like this. And you do this like that. There we have it. These are the simple pleasure from my childhood living in the south of France. And honestly, nothing beats that garnish, that simple fish. And now it's time to retaste really that dish. Just wanted to show you a little bit the simplicity of it, but the best part is eating it. This really brings back memories. And I've ate this dish so many times as a kid. When I was in the south of France, I've lived in a, in a French Riviera. And I just can't wait because that fish here, when it's that fresh, you can feel, you can almost taste the sea. The saltiness. It's like the fish has just like been out of the water. And you want the garnish. Mm. Mm. Sometimes there's a little bone. Always be careful, but mm. lemony. The garnish with the fennel and the potatoes, perfectly cooked. And it's not fishy or anything like this. It's just the, that meatiness of the fish. With the garnish, the lemon, the onions, and it all come back together, mingle, and have this explosion of flavor. But the good thing is that this is really light as well. So if you want to have a light meal, you can have a big portion of fish, and it is really delicious. <laughs> and there you have it. This is the easy way on how you can cook an entire fish without doing any filleting or <laughs> knife work. Now that works with uh, snappers, I had brain, but other fishes as well. It's very easy and it's such a good way to prepare a fish. And if you are new to fish or you don't eat fish very often, I would highly recommend that technique just to have a go, but only when the fish is super fresh. But that completes the video for this week. I will see you on the next episode on the French Cooker Academy. Take care all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.